Welcome everybody. Today's video finds us over here in Bagan, Myanmar. And I know I'm going to butcher this name, but we're at the Gub Yau Kai Ji Temple. I'll put it up on the screen. Also the uh, Mai In Kaba, I think is another way you can say it. Anyway, this temple is 910 years old or so. It was built in 1113 by Prince Yaza Kumar. It was uh, built shortly after the death of his father. And this is known for two things. It's known for its mural paintings. It has some of the best mural paintings that are here in anywhere in Bagan. It's also next to another temple, the Maya Zadi. And this, uh, this, that pagoda had a, a stone that they call the, uh, the Burmese Rosetta Stone. It was, uh, had a little story written on it in four different languages. It was in Pali, Old Mon, Old Burmese, and Paiyu. And so it helped them translate those old languages. So anyway, we're gonna walk in here and let's uh, check things out. So this is the area around it. So they have a whole bunch of these little chetties and they have some places for some pictures and then uh, back in here underneath these trees is the temple and then it has this nice beautiful gold chetty with a pink bottom so let's go in here it has a little data plate over here and this has two different influences it has the mon and then it has indian styling also you can see the crowd of people and then the the vendors over here so this talks a little bit about what i was just talking about how it was uh, built by the king's son in 13 or 1113. So over here is some of the, uh, the vendors. So they're selling all the uh, inscriptions. So you take your shoes off and then you can come in here. This little boy here, he's selling some postcards. So here are some of the small little chetties. And then we have some of the styling here, some of the plaster work. So I don't know how much of this was damaged. In 1975, there was a big earthquake, but a lot of these temples here in Bagan were damaged then. And there's been earthquakes all over the centuries. I mean, these things are 900 years old, so Mother Nature is kind of harsh on them, especially out here in the, in the tropics. That sun's kind of in a bad spot, but you can see that central prong. We'll try to get a better look at it over here. So we can come over here. So here's some of the little paintings that these guys sell. So it's the, the San Pedro. How much? 10,000 jag? Okay, thank you. Huh? No, I, have, I have more beautiful. You have more beautiful? Okay. But it is my smaller shop. Oh, it's your smaller? Okay. So you can see the pagoda over there. Maybe look at that. Over there? Okay, maybe later. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay, so they're saying do not carry inside camera, mobile phone, video. So we're not going to be able to look at the murals in here. So we won't even be able to take any pictures. That's a bummer. Okay, so that was a little bit of a disappointment. Uh, they don't allow any photography at all inside of there. And they keep it pitch black. So they actually just shine some flashlights up on the wall. So you can't see much. It's like walking into a cave. But just to kind of describe it, there's about a quarter inch or so of the plaster and then they painted murals on it. And it had some really interesting things. It had a seated Buddha in there that was uh, uh, red with uh, the white face and uh, red lips. And then it had a series of 40 Buddhas that at one time there was 40 around the outside and now there's only 19. I guess a bunch of them have been stolen over the years. And uh, there was some murals and I looked for it, but you can't hardly see. I mean, they had it uh, fenced off anyway and you couldn't get up even within uh, probably like 10 inches or so of the walls and it was just really hard to see. So that was a bit of a disappointment. So let's uh, look around at the rest of this temple and uh, see what else is here. And so we can see some of these little chetties here. I really like these. This styling here is quite cool. Yeah, I was surprised. They say on the outside that you can take photos or videos in there as long as you don't use a flash. So I don't know what the rationale is. They let you, they let the people or the workers in there shine flashlights on the walls, but you can't just record uh, footage. So anyway, uh, let's look at this here. Yeah, this is really, really nice. 
So they say those little columns right there have the Indian influence in it. Let's look over here and see if we can look inside this big, huge chetty or look around it anyway. So we have some monks over there. So you take your shoes off and uh, come over here and the, uh, the ground is quite hot. I really like the, the styling of this. You can see the, the lions here, the small little chetties, and then definitely Mon style. You can see the umbrella up there at the top. And then these here, are just the, the brick, they don't have any of the plaster on them. And then we have some small buildings. And the guy that sells his paintings over here. And they also uh, paint like the little designs and stuff like that on your hands, if you would like. It looks like they're doing some restoration over here. They have some of the bells. And then we'll see what's at the base here. Oh, it looks like a nice little Buddha. Oh yeah, this is really nice. So you can see the murals around. And then you can see definitely has the red painted lips. And you can see the lions up there and it has a small little building over here. And I wonder if this is a replica of that little stone that uh, they supposedly used it to decipher. It just says uh, memory of the world. Okay, so here is the, the stone. So this is the one that they say was written with four different languages on it. So it would have had Old Mon and three other languages. I couldn't read a single one of them, but they have it here in this little case to kind of protect it. And then we have a small little pagoda over here with all these figures in it. So they're uh, listening to the teachings of the Buddha is what they're doing. And then they have some more uh, of the souvenirs and stuff like that. And then this nice gold Buddha right here. So we'll take another look here at this huge chetty. Yeah, this is a beautiful building here. So there's the two temples here. There's the pagoda and then that temple over next to it that was built in 1113. Now I was disappointed. I looked hard to try to see if I could see one of the murals. There's supposed to be a mural of uh, like one of the old Burmese kings. His son sent him uh, women's clothing because he refused to fight. And I couldn't see it. I couldn't make out any of the murals. It was just so dark in there. Anyway, uh, it was part of the story. It was nice. The outside of it is quite cool. Worth just coming to see that. And we'll take one more last look here at this building. Yeah, this is, this is so cool. So just to give you an idea, while you're walking around in there, these are the only lights that are on. It's these little, small little holes. And it's down a long hallway. Everything is kind of in the middle. So it just lets in that, just a little tiny bit of light. And at one time, you could see the styling of it would have had all this plaster, all the detail work all around it. Would have been quite a, quite a sight to see. It's still really amazing, but it's, uh, you know, over the 900 plus years, it's kind of faded off a little bit. And it does have like the outer perimeter temple wall. Yeah, it's really nice. And the styling right there. So right outside the temple, it's pretty common to leave these little vases. These are for people to, uh, that are traveling to come over and they can uh, get some water. And it's right over next to the temple. I guess that's gonna finish up our video over here at this temple. It was a little shorter than I wanted just cause I couldn't film inside of where all the murals and everything was. That was the whole reason I came over here to see this temple. And like I said, the lights were off so you just couldn't see anything really. Just to walk around basically in a cave and uh, some of the workers would shine a flashlight up a little bit, but you didn't even know what you're looking at because it was high ceiling and all that. But the, uh, other than that, the temple is fantastic. I mean, the styling on it is unbelievable. Definitely worth looking at just the styling, and, but you do have to pay, uh, foreigners have to pay 25,000 jug to get in here. So uh, anyway, uh, that's the admission and it's an old 910 year old temple. And anyway, if you, uh, if you liked the video, make sure you smash like and uh, subscribe if you're new here. This is what I uh, do. I show you things I see and tell you a little bit what I know. 
Uh, today's video got us over here in Bagan. So if, you're, uh, if you like this kind of stuff, then subscribe and you're notified when I post a new video. And leave me a comment, tell me what you think. And until next time, guys, remember, from in Bagan, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.